Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk briefly about cameras. I see a lot of ads all through uh, social media uh, advertising for DPs with caveats after the ad saying uh, must own a Red Monstro, must own Ari Alexa, uh, must own an Alexa Mini, must own a Canon C500, must own a Sony, must own something. Um, the fact is, the camera simply doesn't matter. The camera is simply a box with a hole in the front of it, and its job is that when you push the red button on the camera that says record, it records whatever you put in front of it. So the reality is, if you understand all the different camera systems, it doesn't matter what camera system you shoot on. Now, okay, there's times where Maybe you need to shoot full frame. Maybe you should need to shoot 65 millimeter. Uh, maybe you need a higher pixel density, what, whatever it is. There, there may be occasions where one camera system is required over another, but one camera system is not better than the other. They're essentially all the same. And as long as you have a complete and thorough understanding of the parameters of that camera system, and, and those parameters come largely from what I've been talking about in the characteristic curve, then you're going to be able to use any camera system to create the look that you want. So there's an important thing to keep in mind. The camera doesn't know you. The camera doesn't know what you like. It doesn't know what you don't like. It doesn't know what your visual style is. It certainly doesn't know the script. And it certainly doesn't know the visual style that you and the director have come up for the movie that you might be shooting. All it knows is that when you push that record button, it records whatever you've put in front of it. So it's up to you to understand the parameters of that camera, develop the visual style, and make it work for the project. The camera is not going to make the visual style for you. It's simply going to record what you put in front of it. And I can't say that enough. Uh, I see so many people worried about what camera system they're shooting on. And to be honest, it simply doesn't matter. If you know what you're doing, you can create great images and, and great visual style, regardless of the camera system that you're shooting on. So without rambling on too long, let's get to it. It's important to understand that even though I'm talking about all these elements of the characteristic curve, and which is essentially the the parameters of the camera that you're going to be working with, whatever, whatever camera that is, that it makes it sound like uh, the camera is going to perform miracles for you. That you, know, you can roll off into the highlights, you can roll off into the shadows, you can move the black point and the white point up and down, you can change the slope of the, the gammas and you can break the curve apart and put it back together and, and it all sounds fantastic. Um, the one thing to remember is that the camera is not your salvation. The camera is not going to save you. The camera is simply a box with a hole in it that you stick a lens on and that camera will record whatever you put in front of it. What your job is, is to understand what the parameters of that camera are so that you can translate the parameters of the camera onto the characteristic curve and then do your lighting and establish your visual style so that it fits within the parameters of that camera system that you're using. Now, every camera system is different and you have to understand the camera system that you're actually working with so that you make sure you know the parameters and you fit your visual style into, the, into those parameters. But don't expect the camera to solve all your photographic problems because it simply won't do that. You need to understand all those parameters so you can solve the photographic problems up front and then translate them into a form that the camera can understand. If you like what you saw in this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, click on that subscribe button down there and uh, make sure you get notification of new videos when I post them every Wednesday and Saturday. And once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.